Now when it comes to GitLab, most of this is the same as GitHub. Now the interface is slightly different, it looks a little different, but notice the uh, the front part is Git, and that's what it works off of is Git. It works with Git, the Git tool, and so you have GitLab. And, and there's a lot of neat features that are available in GitHub, and a lot of neat features that are available in GitLab, and some of those features coincide, and some of them are unique to each platform. So you'll have to decide what's best for you. Um, I've used both, and they both work excellent and uh, so you should just do whatever works for you. Now using the command line going through git uh, the git tool in the command line is going to be identical whether you're using github or gitlab. Uh, so I just really want to highlight a few of the, the differences um, that you see in the two. So for instance, in GitLab, <coughs> excuse me, I'm logged in here, and making a new project is making a new repository. So we make our new project, and uh, yeah, we'll call it my test project. <coughs> and uh, we will say, okay, uh, description testing for video series. Um, and then you can make a private, uh, <coughs> internal or public, and notice that uh, you can have a private repository in GitLab without having to upgrade your plan, without having to pay any money. So that is really very useful, very handy if you'd like to do that. Um, if you're making it public, uh, like I typically do, uh, you have a choice. You can initialize with a README or not, just like we saw in our other uh, projects as well. So we're going to create our project. We're not going to initialize with a README. Oh, um, yes, uh, project slug. We'll just put my test project in there, and we'll create our project. So now this is empty right now. And you notice you have SSH or HTTPS, which you had both of those options in um, GitHub. And if you use SSH, it's very nice because you can add your SSH key from your computer into here. So you don't have to type your password every time that you're doing uh, your uploads or downloads. Um, so that's very, very useful. However, uh, I'm just going to use HTTPS here um, just to keep it simple. Um, so it's like, okay, you're going to create a new repository. Uh, this is how you would do it. Existing folder or existing Git repository. How would you, um, you know, change what we're doing? Um, and in particular, this works exactly the same as we did in GitHub. Um, I do think it'll be cool to use an existing Git repository. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close Git Kraken so it doesn't get confused. We're in 102 right now. So we'll just go ahead and use that. Um, so we'll git remote rename origin old origin. So it's saying, hey, what used to be the origin, which was GitHub, we're going to rename that to old origin. Right? And then we're going to remote add this one as the new origin. And then we're going to git push uh, dash u origin, whoops, origin all. So we've added our git lab as the new remote that we're going to. And then we're going to have to type in our credentials. And then we're going to also push to our origin all of our tags, if you had any tags. And there we go. So now if we refresh this page, we have everything that we had in GitHub 102, but now it's here on GitLab. Uh, notice that our commits should all be in here. Everything we had, 
uh, before is in here. We only had done one commit anyways, but uh, but all of this information is in there. Notice that it's timestamped back to 25 minutes ago when I originally did it and not to the current moment, which I just did now. So uh, the interface looks a little different, but it works exactly the same as GitHub did uh, with a couple of extra handy um, features. But for the most part, for the kind of work that you're probably going to be doing for now, it's going to look the same. Um, there's a few things in here, you know, like you can add, obviously you can, um, you know, click on a file and you can click the edit button to edit that file and make some changes, that sort of thing. And that's going to work exactly the same as it did on GitHub. It just looks a little bit different when you do it. Uh, you can look at the branches and compare the branches just like we did. You can look at the commits. Um, tags, contributors, graphs, compares, all of that sort of thing, just like you did in GitHub. Uh, I feel like GitLab did a really great job of laying this out. Um, you know, you can add some things like change logs and and whatnot. Uh, download it or grab the uh, information right here to paste into your um, terminal to work with it, uh, but everything from the command line is going to work identical to using github so just wanted you to be aware of that um, one big thing that you run into is how you utilize this in custom rom building because that is a little bit different so uh, we don't actually need this anymore, so I'm going to go to the settings and we're going to delete this repository. We'll expand the advance. Uh, same thing where you can archive and uh, you know rename and transfer and remove. So we'll just remove the project and uh, it wants you to type this in there and confirm so you can remove that project. And there it is, it's gone. So. Just, uh, just some things to uh, to keep in mind. We're going to look at how we utilize this in a custom ROM in just a moment here.